again with Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby's. She's in some hot water tonight. We have team coverage of that story. That's right. Jeff Abel has results of a new poll showing Baltimore City Democrats largely have a negative opinion of Marilyn Mosby. We begin with Keith Daniels and a new court filing in the federal case against Ms. Mosby that shows she plans to use taxpayer money to help fund her defense. Keith. Well, Kai and Mary, it's an order written today by U.S. District Judge Lydia Grisby. Mosby's attorneys asked for financial help using something called the Criminal Justice Act plan for the District of Maryland. And tonight, the request approved. From the beginning, City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby has claimed she's done nothing wrong. Repeated pushback on the federal charges against her, including perjury and filing false mortgage applications. I am innocent of the charges that have been levied against me, and I intend to fight. And tonight, it appears she's using taxpayer money to help her fight. Fox 45 has learned in an order written July 5th, a federal judge has granted Mosby's request to have the court help pay for her expert witnesses in her upcoming trial. According to the court order, Mosby is financially unable, as argued by her attorneys, to obtain the services at this time to adequately prepare for trial. Taxpayer watchdog David Williams. This is a double whammy on the taxpayer in Baltimore City. Caused the move a blow to Baltimore taxpayers. For, for her to say that she doesn't have enough money and for the judge to almost agree with that really raises a red flag. Where's the common sense from the judge saying you make $250,000 a year, you have multiple houses, there has to be a way that you can afford this. According to city salary records, Mosby earned roughly $248,000 last year, one of the highest paid Baltimore City employees. Still, she gets assistance from the court, which according to legal scholar Douglas Colbert, may not be that unusual. There's a Supreme Court decision which ensures that whether you're rich or poor, uh, that you absolutely have the right uh, to ask the court for uh, finances if you need, if you can make a showing that the expert witness is a necessity for your defense. But for Williams, you have taxpayers paying twice now, first for her salary and now to help her fund expert witnesses. Bottom line for every criminal trial is to make sure that justice is done and to make sure that the defense has the witnesses it needs. Well, the judge says Mosby will have to pay back that money. She has to re present a repayment plan to the court in 30 days. Meantime, her jury trial is set to begin September 19th. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.